In this video, I'm going to tell you about some more differences that I found between the Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K. And these differences might help you decide for which device to go for. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Now the first 100 Pimax backers have to make the big decision. Should they go for the Pimax 5K Plus or should they go for the Pimax 8K? Now indeed, that is really an important decision. So I compared the devices again and I would like to add something to my original review that I did not talk about there. And this is watching movies with both devices and checking if there are any distortion differences between the two devices. So let's start with the first topic, watching movies on the Pimax 5K Plus and on the Pimax 8K. Where is it better? So I did get lots of requests from the community and from the forum and these requests were like, okay, tell us now, on which device is it better to watch porn, to watch adult entertainment? And in the name of science, I did it. I watched some movies on both devices and I can now tell you the final answer to that question. If you are into watching movies or adult entertainment or any kind of movies actually, right? Because well, it's the same, right? So then I would suggest you to get the Pimax 8K because well, the colors look better. They are fuller. It's simply looking better also with the screen door effect which is not as pronounced as with the Pimax 5K Plus, it simply looks better. So it was really, really easy to tell. And I didn't even have to watch the movies so long in order to find out that without a doubt, the Pimax 8K is the better choice if you are only here to watch movies on your Pimax headsets. Now, did it look bad on the Pimax 5K Plus? No. I'm sure you can still have lots of fun with the Pimax 5K Plus and any kind of entertainment that you would like to watch. But the colors definitely are not as nice as with the Pimax 8K. So if Pimax could do something about the colors, if they could at least allow us to, to adjust the colors in the Pi tool, that would be a big, big advantage. And I really hope that Pimax would add this setting into the Pi tool. So now let's talk about the next topic, distortion differences between the Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K. So actually you wouldn't expect any distortion differences between the two headsets because they're using exactly the same distortion lens profile. However, in my tests, I always had the feeling that the distortion is worse with the Pimax 8K. So the differences are not big, but I always perceived the distortion to be worse on the Pimax 8K as compared to the Pimax 5K Plus. And especially when you have fast head movements. When you have fast head movements, I always had the feeling that with the Pimax 5K Plus, things would just stick where they are. But if you were using the Pimax 8K, if you would do, would do something like this, then, then the picture would like a bit move with you to the right and left. Also in the peripheral vision, I also had the feeling that the, yeah, that the distortion was a bit more severe with the Pimax 8K, but I dismissed it because I simply, I simply couldn't understand why that is the case. But now I looked into this topic again and well, then it dawned on me. And that's why now I must correct something that I said in the original review. And that is this year. In terms of panel refresh rate, the Pimax 8K runs at 80 Hertz and the Pimax 5K Plus runs at 90 Hertz. But from my tests, actually, I more measured 91 Hertz. So you get one Hertz for free on top. Anyways, I personally cannot tell the difference between the Pimax 8K and the Pimax 5K Plus at all. And if you can see it, then congrats to your superhuman eyesight. So actually this 11 Hertz difference between the Pimax 5K Plus, which runs at 91 Hertz and the Pimax 8K, which runs at 80 Hertz are perceivable after all. And that's with distortion. And it makes so much sense since both headsets are using exactly the same distortion profile. But for the Pimax 5K Plus, this distortion profile is applied to 11 more frames per second as compared to the Pimax 8K. So let me give you an example. 
for the Pimax 5K Plus, if we look from the left to the right in exactly one second, then in this second, 91 times, the distortion profile is applied to all the different frames. But if we use the Pimax 8K to do the same thing, to look from the left to the right, then only 81 times the distortion profile is applied to these 80 frames. So definitely you have much more frames here for the Pimax 5K Plus, which are correct. And for the Pimax 8K, you have like bigger, bigger areas when you look from the left to the right, where you still see the wrong distorted picture. So that makes a difference. And that's also why I said when you look fast from the left to the right, then you will see that the picture kinds of moves with you. The world moves a bit with you and you don't have that at all with the Pimax 5K+. Plus. So I hope these additional pieces of information were helpful for you in making your decision between the Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K. So again, if you're in it just for watching movies, any kind of movies, then you should probably go for the Pimax 8K because of the better colors and because of the less screen door effect. But for nearly all other scenarios, I would still prefer the Pimax 5K Plus also especially because there's less of distortion and the higher frequency, the higher refresh rate, which does make a difference. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.